Here we're asked to use graphing to factor a polynomial f of x is equal to 0 0.015 x to the 7th plus 0 0.06 x to the 6th minus 0 0.225 x to the 5th minus 0 0.78 x to the 4th plus 1.245 1.245 x cubed plus 1.98 x squared minus 3.915 x plus 1.62. So that's a lot to uh, to deal with, and we certainly would not want to try to factor this by hand. It would be very difficult. So we're going to go to our calculator, and let's input the function. So we would have uh, f of x, y equals 0 0.015x to the 7th plus 0.06x to the 6th minus 0 0.225 x to the fifth minus 0 0.78 x to the fourth plus 1.245 x to the third plus 1.98 x to the second and let's see what else do we have there minus 3.915x plus 1.62. All right, certainly not fun. Let me kind of just double check and make sure that I punched that in correctly. All right, looks reasonable. So I'm, going to, I'm just going to graph this in the standard window. So that's from negative 10 to 10 on the x on the x-axis and negative 10 to 10 on the y-axis. And one, the scale on the x-axis is 1, the scale on the y-axis is 1. And so here I, I see this graph. And so I'm going to use this graph to factor the polynomial. So let me drag this over. Oops. All right, so I've got the uh, graph here. Let me just enlarge it a little bit. So here's what I see. Remember, my scale on the x-axis is 1. So I see 1, 2, 3, 4x-intercepts. Now I have to look at the behaviors of them. Now since I have the 4x-intercepts, let's see, that would be a negative. My x-intercepts are at negative 4, negative 3, 1, and 3. So that means I have factors of x plus 4, x plus 3, x minus 1, and x minus 3. All right, so now I have to consider the behavior near the x-intercepts. All right, so on the, at the first, it appears to go straight through. So when it goes straight through, that tells us that it has a multiplicity of 1. So x plus 4 is to the first power. Here, at, when, at negative 3, it bounces off. It looks nearby. It looks like a parabola. And so that tells us that that 0 has multiplicity 2. At 1, the curve appears to flatten out, which tells us that that's a 0 of multiplicity 3. And finally, at x equals 4, it appears to go straight through. And so again, that's a multiplicity 1. So the factored form of the polynomial, or the function, however you want to think of it, I would have an x plus 4 to the first power, an x plus 3 to the second power, an x minus 1 to the third power, and an x minus 3. And then all we have to do is remember that the lead coefficient of the polynomial stays in front of the factors. So you have 0 0.015 by all of those factors.